And I kind of started without you guys because uh, I've been working with explosives and I didn't want my hand to blow up. Uh, blow off my hand and give my wife the opportunity to tell me I told you so. But no, I'm working with, I'm working with explosives, but very small amounts. Here's what happened. I was watching TV the other day and a show came on, it was about art, I forget what it was, but uh, this Chinese artist was featured, his name I believe is Sai Gu Quang, something like that, and his medium is explosives. And he does other things too, that's, uh, he blows things up, he makes things, sometimes it's just a one-time thing and it's gone. But he did this one trick that I thought was cool, this, not trick, I guess, uh, I guess it's a technique or whatever, where he took a piece of canvas, he took these murals and put them out like a garden scene, and he, he's done a bunch of them, but the one I watched was a garden scene. And then he would sprinkle this colored uh, gunpowder on top of it. And then he would put cardboard on top of that, light a fuse, and the gunpowder would go off. And it would leave this just amazing colored uh, mural. So I thought I would try on a small scale. And the thing was, he used these, this colored, colored, this colored, dye colored gunpowder, which I have no idea where he got. And I've spent a couple few hours online trying to figure it out. But for starters, what I just wanted to do is to figure out just the basics of it. And I, here's some of the examples of what I've tried. And you know what? I'm not sure I'm any closer than I was 25 tries ago. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I've been doing. I think that what I'm going to do, I've ordered a couple other little things that might help the situation, but I'll show you what I've been doing and I'll show you what happens and then hopefully the next time I'll show you a successful try. But what I, so what I would do is I would put, I just, you know, I played with the gunpowder. So what I'm just starting out with, this is black powder and it, it leaves a bit, it puffs and leaves a lot of smoke and it goes pretty fast and this is smokeless powder and this burns pretty slow and no smoke, smokeless powder. So I used this as a wick and I built this little ramp where I used a smokeless powder to, to climb the ramp and get onto the, um, onto the little canvas thing. And then I light it, I put this down on top of it, or I put this down on top of it, light it, and then take a few steps back. But I'm just dealing with very small amounts. And I was just going to show you on a blank piece of paper and then I thought, well, and the other thing I've been doing is I have these little templates that I've gotten some of these shapes out of yeah, with limited success. So I thought, I was just going to show you on uh, paper and then just at the last minute I thought, hey, what if I put some washer down? That'd be kind of cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some washer down in a random order. And I'm going to put a little, I forget if I put the die down first, I think I did, put a little die down in between, eh, all over I guess. And this die is for... I forget what this, I tried a couple different kind of dyes. This dye was for, I think, ceramics maybe? Which kind of makes sense. I tried some tie dye, dye, and that was, that did absolutely nothing. All right, so in here, I've got black powder, the smoky stuff, the pretty volatile stuff. And actually this, it seems like it's way more powerful, but if, in gun making world, people who make bullets, I don't know anything about that, but apparently this is, this is what they use in the old muskets, black powder, and it makes a lot of smoke and it's not a lot of power. Um, this stuff, the slow burning stuff, actually has way, way, way more power if you were to pull it, put it in a bullet. So, I just sprinkle this on. You don't really need a pile because it burns pretty volatilely, so it kind of lights the stuff next to it. And once I do this, it's going to send, I've been doing it outside, which makes more sense. I did a couple inside, but. Most of them are outside. Ooh, that's a lot. That might... I don't want to contain it too much. Uh, most of them are outside, but it's raining out and it's windy. So I'm going to do one in here. And uh, then I probably... 
probably can only talk for a few seconds or for about a minute because it sends a big puff of smoke up there and it takes about three a couple of minutes before it extends down here and, and then I want to run away. Um, so to light it, I'm going to put a little bit more by the ramp. To light it, I'm going to make a little trail. Put a little pile right there. Sometimes it doesn't work right on the first one. I'm going to make a little bigger pile. And then I put this guy on top. As you can see, I've done a few of them. Uh, the key is to get rid of this stuff. Whenever I light this stuff, any kind of explosive stuff is in a different room. I'm kind of concerned because I filled one of those washers up and now I'm sandwiching it down. There's not a lot of force. If, it, if the explosion or if the powder can go, if it's free to go, it doesn't do much. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Ha <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right. Let's see what we got here. The other thing I didn't like, I tried to do, that's eh, kind of interesting. Um, the other thing I don't like is the, is the big, uh, kind of the blotchy parts. So I actually, I powdered, um, I crushed some up very, very carefully in very, very small amounts. And that did help. And I, I did order a pestle, or whatever the other thing that makes it, uh, crushes it with. So, or, you know, the herb crusher or powder crusher. So I'll keep trying with it. So this is, this project is kind of on hold. Oh, here's something that came with it. This background on this guy is uh, was from that dye, and then I did some waxy stuff here that didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but I'm still actually pretty happy with kind of the way it turned out. I might make a little cheap frame and put it on the wall somewhere. But that gave me an idea to do a wax project. So my next project's going to be a wax project. It's going to be kind of silly and fun and easy, um, but that's okay. So we'll see you next time.